Welcome to Maths TV. Today we will be going through IGCSC Maths Paper 22 May June 2019. Today we will be going through Mathematics Extended Paper IGCSC 058022 May June 2019. Question number 1. Write down write down a prime number between 50 and 60 so prime, prime number we know 53 is a prime number so we can write 53 use your calculator to work out this one calculator so 1 minus uh, sine of 33 degrees and square of sine will take square so this will be equal to 0 0.838 0 0.8386 so we can write 0 0.84 write the recurring write the recurring decimal this one as a fraction so we can write 0 0.77 recurring as x so we can shift one digit so 10x will be equal to 0 7 point seven seven point seven seven recurring so we can subtract this x value zero point seven seven recurring and after subtraction we can see this will be nine x nine x is equal to seven so x will be equal to seven over nine so our answer will be 7 over 9. We can check with calculator also. 7 divided by 9 will be equal to 0 0.77 recurring. Question number 4. Complete each statement. A quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium. Trapezium. And uh, any an angle greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree will be obtuse angle. And the distance between Paraguay and Vienna is 254 kilometers. The local time in both locations is same. So the train leaves first station Paraguay at 1520 and arrives at Vienna at 1950 same day calculate the average speed of the train speed we know is distance divided by time so we'll write distance divided by time time is 1520 uh, uh, basically we'll have to subtract 1950 1950 minus 15.20 so how we will write time in calculators I will show you this one fraction 254 divided by 19 hours uh, basically we have to delete this one okay 19 hours minus 19 hours and 50 minutes minus 15 hours and 20 minutes so we have taken distance divided by time the same format we have inserted over here and just to press equal to you will get 56.44 recurring so 56.44 and this will be the average speed so answer will be 56.44 solve the equation so question number six we have to solve this equation so 9f and 3f 3f we can shift on uh, shift on this side 9f minus 3f is equal to 23 minus 11 so this will be 6f is equal to 23 minus 11 will be equal to 12 so f will be equal to 12 by 6 which is equal to 2 so our answer will be f is equal to 2 now question number 7 triangle is given and we have to find the area of the triangle and we know area of the triangle is what area of triangle is half into base into height 
so we'll be writing 1 by 2 into base is 8.4 into 3.5 which is height and just calculate this so 0.5 for half multiply by 8.4 multiply 3.5 and the answer is 14.7 so this is equal to 14.7 14.7 centimeter square write this one correct to see two significant figures and these are leading zeros non-significant so we'll have to re count this one one and two so we'll get rid of these three so we'll write 0 0.04 and this is more than five so eight write 0 0.00527 in standard form Z decimal we have to shift after the first non-zero number so it will be 5.27 multiply by 10 raised to the power how many digits we have jumped one two and three digits to the right it means minus three if it is to the left it will be plus if it is right it will be minus so three jumps to the right means minus three find the highest common factor of 90 and 48 so common factors of 90 factors of 90 will be the uh, divisors of 90 like 1 is divi dividing 90, 2, 3, and 5, 6 also, and then 9, 10, these are the all divisors, 15, and 30, 45, and 90, and similarly, uh, common factors of 8, 48 are 1, 2, four one two three also and four then six eight twelve sixteen twenty four and forty eight so six is the highest and common rest of all are not common so six will be the answer on a map with scale one ratio twenty thousand so this is the ratio given the area of the lake is 30 33.6 square centimeters on the map calculate the actual area of the lake uh, in square kilometers we have to calculate so we'll divide this and get the ratio and for uh, area we are taking uh, k square is equal to 1 over 25000 whole square so we can check with calculator so it will be 1 divided by 2 5 and triple zero this will be equal to 4 into 10 is per minus 5 square so we can take answer square is equal to 1.6 1.6 into 10 is per minus 9 this will be the conversion factor and now we have to we have to divide this 33.6 33.6 divided by 1.6 into 10 is per minus 9 this will be equal to this will be um, we can write this one 33.6 divided by answer is equal to 2.1 2.1 into 10 raised for 10 so 2.1 into 10 raised for 10 will be divided by uh, we have to basically convert this one into kilometers square kilometers so divided by 100 will be centimeters into meters and further three zeros for kilometers and we'll take square to convert into square kilometers and we can calculate this value 2.1 multiply by 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 10 and this will be divided by 1 1 2 3 4 5 Five zeros square and this will be equal to 2.1 square kilometers 2.1 square kilometers this will be our answer 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज राइट डाउन द राइट इन द मैट्रिक्स दैट रिप्रेजेंट द एनलार्जमेंट स्केल फैक्टर थ्री सेंटर इज जीरो जीरो एंड वी नो दैट नॉर्मल नॉर्मली वी आर राइटिंग दिस वन एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री फॉर एनलार्जमेंट सो दिस विल बी थ्री थ्री जीरो जीरो दिस विल द मैट्रिक्स फॉर आर आंसर एंड सिंप्लीफाई फाइव इंटू टू विल बी टेन एंड एम स्क्र इंटू एम क्यूब विल बी एम रेज टू दी पार टू प्लस थ्री विल बी फाइव सो टेन एम रेज टू दी पार फाइव पार रूल्स वी आर अप्लाइंग एंड वन बेसिस आर सेम पार्स विल बी एडेड एंड दिस वन इज ऑल्सो मल्टीप्लाइड सो एक्स रेज फॉर फाइव एट इंटू थ्री विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर सो एक्स रेज टू पार ट्वेंटी फोर विल बी आर आंसर विदाउट यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस सो इफ वी चेंज दिस वन इन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन फोर इंटू टू विल बी एट प्लस वन नाइन नाइन बाई फोर डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री बाई सेवन एंड नेक्स्ट वन वी कैन राइट नाइन बाई फोर into seven by three three threes are nine so this will be twenty one over four and now we can divide four fives are twenty remaining one will be here and then four this will be our answer five whole one by four question number fourteen is simultaneous equation we have to solve this one and the easiest way for this one because this is fraction so if we multiply this by Ten, it will be five x. So we can multiply this with ten. So this one will be changing to five x plus thirty y is equal to thirty y is equal to seventy. And this equation we are writing over here plus eight y is equal to four. And now we can subtract, and this will be cancelled. And this will be thirty minus eight will be twenty two y. Is equal to seventy minus four will be sixty six, so y will be equal to three. This will be answer, and we will replace in first one. So five x plus eight into y will be three, is equal to four. So five x is equal to four. And this will be twenty four. So minus twenty four. So five x is equal to minus twenty. X is equal to minus four. This will be x value. So minus four and three; these will be the two values. Question number fifteen. <clears throat> Shona buys a chair in sale for this price, and it's the reduction of twenty percent to the original price. This is basically a reverse percentage question, and original price we don't know, so we will suppose it's X, and Twelve percent reduction, so we'll be taking hundred minus twelve, which is which is eighty eight. So eighty eight percent of the original price is four thirty five point six zero. So x will be equal to four thirty five point six zero. Multiply by hundred, we will shift this as this will be denominator. So this side will be numerator, and this will come down as denominator. So this will be our Simplification with the calculator will be resulting to four thirty five point six zero into hundred divided by eighty eight. Answer will be four ninety five. So original is four ninety five dollars. Original price was four ninety five, and after twelve percent discount, its price is three four thirty five point six zero. Question number sixteen is basically inequalities question, and we have to shade the unwanted region. They have mentioned over here unwanted region. Uh, so first of all, we'll have to recognize the equations. This is the equation which is uh, c value is six. So we'll check which line is passing through six. So this is the line passing through six. So less than this value, less than this line. We require less than equal to this line. We require so we'll shade the upper uh, area of this line. Upper area of this line will be shaded, and this will be whole area which is shaded. Now, second is 
y is greater than or equal to 3x minus 4. So this line is passing through minus 4. Minus 4 is this one. So this is the line. So greater than this y value is required. This is required. So this side we can shade. So we can start shading from here. This is all shaded portion. So we will shade this all. Then <coughs> third inequality is x plus y is greater than or equal to 5 and this implies we can shift x to other side so this will be y is greater than or equal to minus x plus 5 and this is the y intercept so 5 line is passing through 5 which is this one so greater than or equal to so upper portion is required lower portion we can shade so we will be shading this whole area lower than this line lower than this line will be hold this area we can shade now we have shaded this whole area remaining portion is this triangle this triangle is the remaining portion and they have mentioned in b part find the largest value of x plus y in the region r where x and y are integers we will have to take whole values so we will check whole uh, point if we check this point this point is having x value 2 and y value 4 so um, if we add x and y this will be 6 but if we check this point this is having 1 and 5 and this point will be 2 and 5 basically this point which is line is also included so we can take this line so x value is 2 y value is 5 so 2 plus 5 2 plus 5 will be equal to 7 so our answer will be 7 over here then question number 17 write as a single fraction in its simplest form so we'll take LCM we can take LCM x plus 3 into x minus 5 and this multiply by this to 2x into x minus 5 and plus plus this into this so x plus 3 into x plus 3 so x plus 3 into x plus 3 we can write like this so <coughs> Now we will op open the brackets. This will be multiplied. So 2x squared minus 10x. This will be x into x plus x squared. This will be 3x plus 3x and again plus 3x and plus 9. So we can move a little. So it will be over divided by x plus 3 into x minus 5 now this one is x square and 2x so this will be 3x squared minus 10x plus 3x will be minus 7x um, minus 7x and we missed basically this x over here so 7 minus 3 again will be this one minus 4x and plus 9 this one divided by this will be x plus 3 into x minus 5 5 minus 5 so this will be our final answer 3x square minus 4x plus 9 divided by x plus 3 into x minus 5 this is the simplified answer now question number 18 the table shows the number of people in different age groups at cinema so this is the detail given and height of the bar basically histogram height of the bar is this one seven centimeter for first range they have calculated we have to calculate for the the rest so 32 this is 32 divided by the range which is 5 and multiply by 2 
will be resulting to 32 divided by 5 multiplied by 2 this will be equal to 12.8 12.8 so we can write 12.8 similarly this one 44 44 divided by the the range which is 20 and multiply by 2 so this will be what this will be 44 divided by 20 and multiply by 2 will be equal to 4.4 so we can give answer 4.4 we can write here also 4.4 next is 12 12 divided by the range which is 80 minus 50 which is 30 into 2 this will be equal to 12 divided by 30 multiplied by 2 this will be equal to 0.8 so our answer will be 0.8 centimeters now question number 19 is making subjects it's the easiest question so we can cross multiply first so pm pm will be equal to k plus m m we can shift to this side so pm minus m is equal to k we can take m common so p minus 1 is equal to k and m is equal to k over p minus 1 so k over p minus 1 solve the equation question number 20 solve the equation quadratic equation is given show all your working and give your answers correct to two decimal points so values we can write we will be applying quadratic formula for this one so a value is what 3 b value is minus 2 and c value is minus 10 so these are the three values which we will be applying and the formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac 4ac over 2a and now we will replace the bracket, uh, values in brackets minus b value is minus 2 and plus minus b square minus 2 square b square minus 4 a is 3 and c is minus 10 so this one divided by 2 a 2 a means 2 into 3 so this is the equation which will be solving with the calculator so minus 2 minus into minus 2 plus I will be taking first then I will take minus so in, in brackets minus 2 squared minus 4 a is 3 and c is minus 10 so this one divided by 2 into 3 will be 2 into 3 will be 6 so this is equal to this one 2.18 yes so plus value x1 will be equal to 2.189 so we can write 2.19 if we round and now we'll have to change to minus value and minus value will be resulting to answer as minus 1.52 so minus 1.52 will be the next the second value now question number 20 is venn diagram in the venn diagram we'll have to shade x complement x complement will be the outer value excluding x excluding x will be if we put finger on it so this whole outer area is x complement intersection y so this area will be in both so we can shade this area because this is our answer so this is the required portion shading we have done and the second part the Venn diagram below shows information about the number of gardeners who grow melons melons is basically this section 
potatoes and carrots a gardener is chosen at random from the gardeners who grow melons so this section they have chosen this section find the probability that this gardener does not grow carrots so uh, the gardeners who grow melons but does not grow carrots so not included in this one will be um, three out of what out of um, three out of basically this will be uh, nine this one three plus six will be nine nine out of what out of 16 so nine out of 16 will be the answer so melons will be the complete one right so complete one is 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 2 13 13 plus 3 will be 16 so 9 out of 16 find the n of uh, m intersection p m intersection p is this region i'll shade this region which is intersection between m and p this region and they are saying union of this region with c complement and c complement is not in c so if we shade c complement this is all c complement area excluding c excluding c will be this area so this area also excluding c this will be the whole area so we have shaded this so excluding c we have to take union union of this one with this one so if we count this all so these these numbers are excluded 5 is excluded 10 is excluded and 7 is included rest we have to add all so we'll be adding 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 12 plus 23 so this will be equal to 46 so our answer will be 46 <coughs> question number 22 which is matrix question we have to find a multiply will be a b a b will be product of a b so product rule will be applying 2 7 1 3 will be a value and b value will be 3 4 0 1 so first row first column will be 2 into 3 will be 6 and 7 into 0 will be 0 so plus 0 and the first row second column 2 into 4 will be 8 plus 7 into 1 will be 7 similarly 1 into 3 will be 3 and plus 3 into 0 will be 0 and 1 into 4 1 into 4 will be 4 3 into 1 will be 3 this will be our matrix so this will be resulting to 6 3 15 and 7 so our answer will be on the proper place next one is find a inverse the inverse of a and we know a inverse is equal to a adjoint of a over a mod so adjoint of a is basically we are changing the um, side this one location of these two three will be here two will be here and sign of these two divided by adjoint of a will be this multiplied by minus this so six minus seven so we get minus one so minus one into three minus seven minus one and two so this will be resulting to minus three and minus two and one and seven so this will be our answer question number 23 23 is this one diagram is given a b c d is a parallelogram with a b is equal to q and a d is equal to p a b m is a straight line with this ratio a b a b ratio b m is 1 1 so this is 1 ratio 1 so this will also be q and a d 
a d ratio d n is 3 ratio so this is 3 ratio 2 this is the information provided they are saying write m n m to n in terms of p and q so in terms of p and q what we can do this is three portions so if we divide into three portions so we can roughly say this is one portion two portion three portion and this is also two portions so there are one two three four five portions and this is three out of five and this is two out of five so total will be f five by three p this one 5 by 3p and this will be minus 2q so we can write here 5 by 3p minus 2q basically we'll be taking this side so we can write as a working m n will be equal to m a plus a n can give this information so which is uh, this one this will be 2q minus 2q and plus 5 by 3p so this will be completed okay, answer the straight line n m n is here n to m cuts b c b c is this one at x so this is the point x x is the midpoint of mn so midpoint of mn so half of this one will be this m to x and the same half of this one will be n to x find the value of k bx is equal to kp so bx we know bx is equal to bx is equal to bm if we take this root pm plus mx plus m x so this will be root b x is equal to b m is q so we can write q plus b m is half of this one so 1 by 2 into the answer which we already got 5 by 3 p minus 2 q and now we can open the bracket and this will be q plus this will be 5 by 6 p minus 2 will cancel with 2 and this will be q so basically these two will be cancelled so bx will be equal to 5 by 6p and if we compare this and this k value will be equal to k value will be equal to 5 by 6 this will be our answer question number 24 this a b c d e f g h is a cuboid cuboid is given AB is equal to 18, BC is equal to 7, CG is equal to 12. So this detail is given. Calculate the angle that the diagonal AG, A to G, this corner to the this corner, makes this uh, makes with the base ABCD. So ABCD is this basically this base so we have to draw a line from a to c like this a to c and this will be right angled triangle whose one side is 7 and the other side is 18 and ac is hypotenuse of that tri right angle triangle so we can apply we can say ac is equal to we can apply pythagoras theorem AC will be equal to 18 square plus 7 square under root and we can find the value which is uh, root 8 square sorry 18 square so 18 square plus 7 square this will be equal to uh, in decimal 19.31 this is equal to 19.313 and this is 19.313 now we we can consider this triangle basically uh, they are saying calculate the angle that diagonal make. we require this angle basically and this will be i'll shade the triangle for which we are looking for 
the angle so this whole triangle now hopefully you understood clearly by shading this so this is the right angle triangle which we uh, we require this angle for so we have this side cg we have side ac and this is right angle and so this is right angle triangle we can find age basically angle is required not the side so this over this mean opposite this is opposite opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent is tan so tan um, tan theta we can write tan theta is equal to a, a gc gc over ac so this will be equal to 12 over 19.313 and theta is equal to 10 inverse 10 inverse of 12 over 19.313 so we can find this one uh, 10 inverse 10 inverse of 12 divided by 19.313 so this will be equal to 31.85 so this is equal to 31.85 degrees and we can write 31.9 degrees as answer now the last question 25 which is transformation question and a part is describe fully describe fully the single transformation that maps a on to b a on to b so a on to b is basically we'll have to check what is this uh, transformation so we will be using this tracing paper this will be helping us a lot so we can draw coordinate axis like rough sketch of coordinate axis like this one and draw the, this triangle also so we have roughly traced this value also and if we rotate this one like this see it is exactly fitting on it so from here clockwise 90 degree clockwise 90 degree about this point which is 1 1 and 0 will be the point so we can write answer as rotation rotation 90 degree clockwise about 1 and 0 so this will be our answer for b part triangle a on to triangle c so triangle a on to triangle c we have to we have to uh, check the rotation so this will be a on to c is this one so we can join this point with this this point with this one like this similarly we can join this point with this one hopefully yours i will move a little more so this one I'm trying to explain as much as we can discuss. So this is like transmission questions and circle theorem and those type of questions which require more explanation. So we are explaining it properly. So this is transformation question. So this is uh, origin will be 0 and 2 and we will write enlargement enlargement 
with scale factor minus 2 because this is double the size and this is on the other side also so center is 0 and 2 hopefully you enjoyed the video you understood each and everything I have tried to clear your concepts which you can apply on other questions as well and if you like the video just don't forget to subscribe the video subscribe the channel and also press bell icon so that you will be getting new videos for uh, past papers also and explanation by topic also thank you for watching